meine Damen und Herren, ach, die Kunst, man kann, ich bin mir dessen durchaus bewusst, dieses Wort so oder so lesen, man kann verschiedene Akzente setzen. There's a, an aura of dates and of course, I have to say, for, in a way, for every German, the 20th of January, if you say 20th, 20th of January and we would think about possible dates that wouldn't, wouldn't last long, that we would remember the, the, the Wannsee conference. Yeah. Yeah. Or, if, or, yeah, yeah. yeah. or if you say 20th of April, it's, it's in my generation, it, it's, it's clear that, 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 that it is only maybe one date, it's the birthday of Hitler. So, so in, in this sense, it's, 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 it's by accident, it's not by accident. So, but, but maybe this is exactly, it has something to do already with, with dates as such, that dates are in a way, uh, that there is a contingency and not, and, and probably this is, by the way, the, uh, the inherent uh, dialectics of of uh, contingency and fate. Well, this 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 remark, this or this claim that every poem is uh, comes from a date like twentieth of January is, of course, a very strong claim, and therefore he 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 uh, he al al already says perhaps. No? Silan says perhaps, but. Of course, in, at this point of, of, of the speech, one could really ask, is, 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 is it really a serious, perhaps? Is the meaning uh, of this uh, perhaps not, one could say, too heavy, too deep, that we can stay with the perhaps, so you cannot, you cannot, you know, you cannot claim something very, very strong and at the same time say perhaps, so that's an intrinsic uh, uh, problem. Yeah? That, that you, uh, or did Ceylon think that exactly because of the meaning of this idea, uh, perhaps is also necessary, one could say that. Uh, I guess that it is for sure, not every poet, I would say, and uh, we have to be clear that not, 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 not every poet would agree that a traumatic date is in, inscribed in every poem. I would say that this is a, a, stream, a very extreme position. Of, of Derrida, uh, of Ceylon, and I, I, I would doubt that, for instance, today, uh, a, young, a younger poet would agree with, with Ceylon. Uh, he would say that this is maybe a possibility, but it's, but it's not a poetological uh, fundamental idea, I would say. Uh, but it is also for sure that for Ceylon, a date like this of the 20th of uh, January is never only a personal date in the sense of a private or intimate one, because a date in the sense of the calendarium, the calendar, never counts only for one. That is, imp that is impossible. So if he, uh, if he says already something like that, that he, he's referring to a date, it can never be just own a total intimate and private relation because a date is not, is not a private and intimate thing. So that's, that's also involved uh, or inscribed in, in, this, in this context. And exactly this is now the question for Ceylon. What is the origin of the poem or better, how does it appear? Is it the expression of a singular existence without or beyond the other? So that's, is involved in this, in this question, or is it written um, for the other, especially, yeah, especially for the other, not only for himself, but especially for the other. The last question sounds nearly a little bit funny, but uh, what poet uh, poetizes only, only for himself or herself? It is all, already the, the point that you, that you, that no, no poet just writes uh, uh, poems for himself in the sense that, that Ceylon would say, ah, it's, this is only my, my date. It has nothing to do with the other. Of course, the question of the other is already, uh, is, um, is already uh, involved. And this, this expresses itself in this, uh, in this speech where he says, uh, but the poem speaks, uh, but, well, but, but the poem does speak, like, like it is uh, translated here. It's on page 180 in the middle of the page. Huh? But the poem speaks, or but the poem does speak, whatever. Um, 
And this is, of course, in, uh, important that the poem speaks uh, and language, one could say, ne speaks never only for one. That's impossible. Uh, even a conversation with myself, with myself, my com a conversation with myself would be one between two in a way. So uh, language never exists only, only for, for, for one human being. Of course, we have to be careful. The poem speaks. And in this sense, the other is present, already present when the poem speaks. But how? And Celan is very clear. It speaks, to be sure. It speaks only in its own, its own individual cause. Yeah. This is, uh, uh, this, this is what, a, what a poem does. It speaks, but it speaks at the same time only in its own its own its individual yeah. cause. What is the, the other, the better translation? Yeah, it, it speaks always only on its own, its own, its very own behalf. Yeah. Uh, the other is not the other of an economic exchange. The other is not the one who dictates what the poet has to poetize. The other is not the consumer of poetry. Maybe the other thinks that modern poetry is obscure, what for Selam does not mean that the poet then has to be brighter in a way. Poetry is always free if it, uh, if it is true poetry in this sense. Every poem speaks in its own individual behalf or on its own individual behalf. And, it's, and it is only because of this, because of this singularity in the, in the, in, in, in the poem that poetry can speak in the name of the other only because it is, in this sense, singular, that it can speak in the name of the other, or, as Celan says, in the cause or on the behalf of the other. Um, and then he says, and this is a very important, I would say, passage for, for us and for here. He, he even says, and he is, uh, he is underlining it, uh, it speaks uh, perhaps in the, in the cause or on the behalf of a holy other. Uh, and, and this is, of course, very important. I would say it's a central passage in the speech, a holy other, or in, in German, in eines ganz anderen Sache. Yeah, well. Of course, the words leave open whether it is der andere or das andere. By the way, that's that's not that's not clear in the German. In this ganz in eines ganz anderen Sache, and of course in English also it's it's open. But um, but what is the reference for this expression? In eines ganz anderen Sachen. Sachen. Martin Buber, for instance writes in I and Though, uh, gewiss is God, certainly God exists, the holy other, das, das ganz andere. Uh, and and, and uh, Celan was actually a kind of a fan of Martin Buber, so mm -hmm. it's, I think it's, uh, it's very probable that he intrinsically is also referring to Buber. There's maybe there's also another another source, namely uh, das, das Heilige, the Holy of, of, um, of uh, Rudolf Otto, where also Rudolf Otto speaks from the Holy Other when he speaks uh, from of, of uh, yeah, of God. And Celan is very aware, I would say, he is a self-aware and a very aware poet. He never writes something without uh, a certain meaning, I would say. And um, a, a couple of paragraphs later in his speech, he says, uh, the poem wants to reach the other. It needs this other. And in German, Celan lets open the possibility that it is also 
the other in the sense of a though, a you, a though, we will come to this. But anyhow, concerning this expression of the holy other, Selan says, this who knows, uh, what is it? Uh, he says, this who knows at which I see I have arrived is the only thing I can add on my own here today to the old expectations. And it's even more significant when he says uh, later, perhaps I must now say to myself, and at this point I'm making off a well-known term, perhaps it is now possible to conceive an encounter or a meeting of this holy other and an other which is not far removed, which is very near. The poem tarries, well, where am I actually? It's, it's on the same page. Huh? The poem tarries stops to catch a scent like a creature when confronted with such, such thoughts. Well, it's, it's, it's of course an open, an, an open expression and it's, it's, uh, it's, it, it's probably our task to interpret the speech at this, at this point uh, when he speaks about the encounter with, uh, with uh, the other and maybe this possibility to speak on the behalf of the holy other. This attention is for Celan so important that he quotes Malbranche through Benjamin, through Walter Benjamin. He says, uh, attention is the natural prayer of the soul, uh, that he is referring to, to a, a attention you see on, on, on one, uh, 182. Attention, per permit me at this point to quote a maxim of Malbranche, which occurs in Walter Benjamin's essay on Kafka, attention is the natural prayer of the soul. So this is what Benjamin says? He, Benjamin quotes Malbranche in an essay of, on Kafka. But of course, this, uh, this, uh, this um, how could you say, this path he takes to this, to this quotation uh, through Benjamin and Kafka is not by accident. So of course that he is, inscribing himself in a, in a certain tradition you know, that he is referring to Benjamin and Kafka as, as to whatever thinkers, writers who are uh, important to him. So attention is the, the, the prayer of the soul, l'attention est une prière naturelle. With this, we have an ever, uh, uh, an even clearer insight on Celan's um, Poetology, as uh, well, we can we can uh, also here see a certain uh, theological um, um, context. You know, I just want to say that um, uh, what is the, the Benjamin writes? This is only German. I know. It, I try to to in, to translate uh, what Benjamin read, read, have written. Even if Kafka did not pray, and this we do not know, he still possessed in his highest degree what Maldranche called the natural prayer of the soul. Attentiveness, he says. Um, the aufmerksamkeit, tension. So, um, the, I just want to, to say that there are these kind of know, religious th threats, uh, which are not clearly, uh, of course, um, called religious. He is not. He's he is he he he, he is careful, and he he stays probably in a certain distance to that topic. But it's not it's not totally absent.